For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. And it's that giving of the Son, that phrase in John 3.16, He gave His only Son, that emphasizes to us yet one more way of the magnitude of the Father's love. For John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world. He gave His Son. Romans 8 verse 32 says, He did not spare His own Son. Of all the things that He could have given, He did not spare even His own Son, but He gave Him up for us all. This is the greatest gift that we can receive, and the giving of His Son teaches us of the Father's great love. And what that should do is that should encourage us as we think about earthly gifts, as we think about the life that we leave with or in relationship with God, our Heavenly Father. Because Romans 8, Romans 8 verse 32 continues, he says, If he who did not spare even his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? In other words, as you come and as you take and as you drink and as you hear the gospel proclaimed, as you understand what salvation cost and the gift the Father gave, don't ever doubt that God withholds. And so as you receive today the gift of the Lord's Supper, think of the triune God involved in your salvation. Yes, Consider Christ's body, crucified body and shed blood, the Son willingly gifting His own life for you. But consider also the Father's gift, the Father's gift of His Son. Take, eat, remember, and believe the Father's gift of His Son to you. And as you receive that gift... Remember, how much more will He not graciously give us all things? May that strengthen us. May that encourage us. May that humble us as children of a heavenly Father who so wonderfully, graciously, and sacrificially provides. Amen. <laughs>